Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I want to do, I want to take a look at some watches that are by top-notch watchmakers that you can get for prices that haven't gone out into the stratosphere. Uh, let me give you some examples of what I'm not talking about. Uh, these are all watches that are by very talented watchmakers. They're also incredibly expensive. Um, first one is by uh, Cyril Brevet Nadeau, uh, a watch called Eccentricity. Love this watch. It's, it's either hand wound or key wound, one of the two. Great watch. 75,000 Swiss francs. It's a lot of money. I think it's worth it, but I don't have that. Uh, another one is by uh, Rex Hex Rex Happy. The Akariva Chronomet Contemporarium, 60,000. Now, that's another one. The guys, both of these guys, uh, Cyril and uh, Rex Heppy, are both relatively young watchmakers. 60,000 Swiss francs is a lot. They spend a lot of time, a lot of perfection, a lot of craftsmanship goes in. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm simply talking about what I can afford. Uh, now, another one, uh, De Bethune, uh, DB25, Starry Nights, Chronomet Tourbillon, 197,000 Swiss francs, <laughs> again, out of my range. Uh, finally, is uh, Grubel Force Grand Sonore, 1,238,550 Swiss francs. Okay, now, I can't afford those, but... So what I thought I'd do, I'd try to find watchmakers who had watches with their movements. Now, there there are some watchmakers, famous watchmakers, with somebody else's movement and a module. Uh, for example, this one's by uh, Christian Vanderclaw, and uh, it has a module for the moon module, but it's basically an ETA that's that runs the watch, and then on top of it is the moon module. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking ones that are full movement by the watchmaker. So let's take up the first one. This is called the Golden Bridge uh, and the Spirit, both by Vincent Calabrese. Vincent Calabrese is the finder, finder, founder of the uh, AHCI, which is the organization of your tippity-top uh, independent watchmakers. And he does have some watches that are a combination of ETA and then some of the modules that he made. But uh, this one that I think is relatively affordable uh, is both on the used market and the new market is called the Golden Bridge. Now, originally it was made for a company called Corum. And Corum has it and it's just this, it has the entire movement on this single bridge. And it, I like it because you can really see what's going on in, in watch movement. It's like a classroom in uh, watchmaking. Um, more recently, it has one called the Spirit. And it's similar but different. Uh, basically, what, it, what they are is that they have different letters of the alphabet. And he makes a movement around uh, the, uh, the letter. This particular one is, an, is a Y. <laughs> They're sort of cool things. The Golden Bridge, I think those are probably the bottom or men's version is around $9,000, okay? That's a lot, but it's not, you know, it's not $197,000, I'll put it that way. Uh, the Spirit is a little more than that. Again, you can find these on both the new and the used market. Not inexpensive, but they're not crazy high. Now, Calabrese also makes a flying tour beyond and some other movements that are just like way up there with the $197,000 ones. But uh, these are two that uh, you might be able to get an affordable deal on. Now, the second one is uh, Jean-Marc Viderec, uh, who was the first person to win the best watchmaker back in 2007. Uh, they've had a few more since then, but not a whole lot. Now, all that uh, Jean-Marc Viderec and his company called Agonar make are movements and movement modules. They don't make watches. They're not a watchmaker. They only make them the movements. And so finding a watch with a movement by Jean-Marc Viderec 
is worth finding. Now, there's one that he's quite famous for uh, that most people know about, and it's called the Agengroff. And it's basically a, a chronometer, uh, a chronograph movement that is revolutionary. And I think there's versions of it in three different watches and a singer, I think a Fabergé, and more recently an H. Moser. Uh, but those are like forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. One that I found and a watch that I happen to have is this movement that's in the um, Van Cleef and Arpels, RDC et Ur d'ailleurs, which means time here and time elsewhere. Uh, this movement is beautiful, as you can see. It's really a gorgeous movement and uh, very creative, very different. So this is another one. And, and Viderek is, is certainly up there with those, you know, with the top. He is up there, but sometimes you can find watches. Now, this is not cheap. It's around $25,000. That's a new price. And uh, perhaps there are some on a used market. I couldn't find any, though. They're, they're just not that common. People who get them keep them. So, anyway. Now, this next watchmaker is another one who won the Best uh, Watchmaker Award. Uh, Carol uh, Forestier Casapi, I'm sorry about mangling the name, but she is like a tip-top watchmaker. Now, the unusual thing about Carol is that she is a, she worked for a big company and she develops their movement for them. And uh, in particular, she started uh, at least as the head of a, of a movement uh, branch of a company with Cartier. And she developed the caliber 1904, and then there were different versions of it. And there are quite a few affordable watches uh, that you can find. In fact, you know, Carol created 37 new movements uh, for Cartier. And uh, one that I, that I like is called the... Uh, Rotund de Cartier, second time zone, day and night. And this is just a real good dual time watch with a uh, with a movement by a top watchmaker. Again, these you can find at fairly affordable uh, prices. Now, this next one is, is an interesting one because there were a number of movements that Marco Lang made uh, when he was with a company called Lang & Hine. And uh, back in 2018, he, he left that company uh, because I guess uh, the, the owners of the company wanted to go in a, a different direction, and so, so did Marco. So he now has a company called Marco Lang Watches. He was the, the past president of the AHCI, ACHI, and uh, just talent, just incredible talent. Now, I think I saw one of these watches for around 17000 Again, these aren't cheap either. And this was a used one I found in one place. New, I think they're right around twenty five, twenty seven thousand. 27000 So they're not cheap either, but they're not 197000 or a million. Great movements. Uh, and if you can find a, a, a good price of one, it would be a great one to have. Now... This next one, uh, Constantin Chaikin Clown. That's a. They, this is an interesting watch. The movement is uh, relatively simple. He's another member of AHCI. Uh, he won the 2018 Audacity Prize for for the Clown, and essentially the Clown is pretty much a, a relatively simple movement. It's a time only movement, but it does a lot of things with the, with the face that he has. And he has a number of different uh, ones of these. Now, some of these, again, you can find on the used market that are relatively affordable. I think new, they're about twenty-five, thirty thousand, 30000 So they're not cheap either. And they're by a really a very, very talented watchmaker. Uh, Constantin has some other watches that are much more expensive. <laughs> so, I mean, they're the ones if you want to spend $200,000. Uh, this is one I like, though. He's got one in the form of a minion. It's a lot of fun. Now, finally, now this this company is one I think a lot of people say, well, 
um, Richard Harbring doesn't quite get into the category of the high level that you have with, uh, let's say, Stephen Forsey or Kari Wootenlon and our uh, F.P. Jorn. I don't know if I agree with that or not. I have one of his watches, and it's the most accurate watch that I have. I also have some other watches <laughs> that aren't as accurate. He made he came up with a movement called the A11, Austria in 2011, and then he built on that. And he was with IWC, and he developed a doppel for them. And he's won four Grand Prix awards. There's this little company. He and his wife, Maria, make these watches. It's a little, little town in uh, Austria. And they don't make that many of them, but they don't charge a lot for them either. You can buy them brand new for right around $5,000, the starting point. These, I think this one starts around probably around $25,000. But the point is, is that here you have a top-notch watchmaker. And if you look around for the different models of watches, you can, you can find some, not a lot, on the used market. People keep these watches. But the simpler ones, you can have, you know, for around, around five, six thousand dollars $6,000. Brand new watch by a top watchmaker. So that's another alternative. And like people say, well, that's not as fancy as so-and-so. Well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, love to hear from you. Hear what you have to say about this. Trying to find something that is really of good horological value that we can hope that we can afford. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. And remember, we're talking about watchmakers and the the movements that they make. Take care. This is an opportunity. This is an invitation to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collections.